What's up, rock stars? Gonna do a review and show you guys my brand new Toyota Full Runner Off Road Premium 2018. Just got this vehicle a couple of weeks ago and show you the outside of the vehicle. Actually, Special ordered this vehicle, it wasn't on the lot, um, it was actually on a ship. Heading over to the United States because these are built 100% in Japan. These are built 100% in Japan. They ship them over to, I believe in my area, they get off on Jacksonville, Florida. Of course, I'm in North Carolina, but they get off the ship in Jacksonville, Florida, and they bolt on any accessories that, you know, I added to the vehicle on the dock because of, uh, I think they do that for weight purposes for shipping. And then they send that off to the dealership. This is a 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium, this is called, okay? This is in the silver color. Uh, this comes in quite a few colors. A lot, of, a lot of really nice colors, too, but this was the color I wanted. It was either going to be this or white, but I was a little nervous about getting white because, you know, I would be nervous about keeping it clean all the time, man. And I want this thing. I got this for off-road, guys, for off-road. And we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. Uh... You got a four liter V6 under the hood. Um, not very powerful, guys, compared to what I'm used to. It's sufficient for this particular vehicle, but we're gonna we're gonna uh, add some power to it. I got I got a whole bunch of stuff I've ordered. We'll talk about that in a moment. And I got more stuff on the way. But as of right now, it's bone stock. Okay, it's bone stock. And we'll take a look at this thing. Take a look at it. Side of the vehicle. There's the running boards. There's some running boards I didn't want. I didn't want. They got the Predator edition. I didn't like those running boards at all. It seemed like they would just like, yeah, I'd trip over them. And this vehicle is really not high enough for running boards, but I am going to lift it up, guys. I'm going to lift it up. And that kit was ordered. Some the kit was ordered uh, from Apex Overland, and Josh himself is going to put it on this truck when it comes in. We're going to bring this truck over to Piedmont Performance and get a whole bunch of stuff done to it probably gonna be there about a week and I'm gonna have so many things done to it it's gonna be pretty badass we get done with it so here's the interior you got this black synthetic leather with red stitching looks really nice guys really really nice inside got a sunroof um, you know this is a old-school vehicle and what I mean by that is a lot of old technology okay you know it's got modern conveniences it's got ice cold air conditioning but it's really an old school vehicle. It's really what I needed. It was something old school. It's not all fancy and refined. And it doesn't have some huge screen and backup camera and all the stuff I'm used to. So I'm kind of like going backwards in a lot of ways. But I need this vehicle because this vehicle is actually going to get used, guys. It's going to get used. And uh, it's going to be going to the beach. It's going to be going to the desert. It's going to be going to the rainforest. It's going to be going to the jungle. It's going to go, and this thing's going to go on a journey, and I mean a journey for real. And I had an F-150 King Ranch custom-built truck. I spent $69,000 building that truck and had it for three years, and it was awesome, and it was my marketing logo and all that kind of stuff. But I'd be terrified to take that vehicle off-road. It was just too nice. It was too beautiful. I'd be terrified to get a scratch on it and, and do all the things I want to do. So I kind of... Had to go backward a little bit and uh, got the 2018 Ford Runner. I'll build another super truck, you know, in a matter of time, probably about three years, I'll build another super truck. Of course, I'm gonna keep the Ford Runner, but I'll build another super truck and I'll I'll spend about a hundred grand building that super truck and it's gonna be badass. I'm either gonna have Jack Roush or Hennessy build it for me, but uh, I'll definitely build another full-size Ford. There's no doubt whatsoever. That truck I had was so incredibly fast and it was just, Oh my god it was just amazing uh, i'm gonna miss that truck all right guys um i put in the husky uh um, floor mats these things are laser cut they fit absolutely perfectly i would highly recommend these um and all you got to do is basically you know uh, turn the knobs pull them out hose them off vacuum them off get them cleaned up and put them back in to look brand new again and they'll, they'll protect your floorboards and your carpets you know if you get in there with dirty shoes and mud and whatever what have you uh, really going to protect the um, the interior of the cabin there, the floor. Um, let's take a look at some of the controls. 
let's get in here and see if I can, you know, uh, you got basic huge knobs, which I kind of like, man. It's pretty, it, it's plain Jane, guy. It's not hard to figure out where everything is and what everything is and all that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, ice cold air conditioning. Some of this crap is useless. There's this little thing down here, storage. It's pretty much useless. I don't know what you can fit in there. Uh, you got USB and all kinds of charging ports. There's also more in the back, which I'll show you. You got your four-wheel drive high, low. Uh, heated seats, which I'll probably never use, but we got them. We got the rear window drops down. This is kind of like the trademark of the Forerunner. Rear window drops all the way down. And then you got all your uh crawl controls up here in the center console and this thing is bad to the bone and this is why i got this vehicle i mean because of all these the functionality i mean this thing this truck is at its best when it's off-road doing five to like 25 miles per hour that's when this truck separates itself from probably 90 percent or 95 percent of the vehicles made period you know what i'm saying that's what this was made for so you got crawl control, you got the speed of the crawl control, you've got a posi traction rear uh, uh, locking differential that you can actually lock the rear end in both tires to push. Uh, you got all traction, you got this, uh, what do you guys call this? Uh, I can't remember, but anyway, it's uh, uh, the, the road condition uh, button right here. You can traction control, I couldn't think of the name, but anyway, that's where all the controls are. I hope you guys can see that. And um, all that kind of stuff. Now, the lighting in this truck, the interior lighting is terrible, and I replaced every single light bulb inside the truck with LEDs. I couldn't see crap in this truck at night. I mean, you open up the door, you can't see anything. Um, it's very dark in this center area of the truck, and I'm going to add some LED flooring light on both sides and possibly some LEDs in the back because it's just so dark in this truck, and it's I'm not used to it, man. My other truck, man, was well lit, the Ford but um you know once again it's it is what it is you know what i'm saying uh center console i put some dividers and crap in here i got a bunch of junk in here right now uh, like i said i got a sunroof in here of course i love sunroof back of the truck pretty spacious for a midsize i mean you know, i can fit back here and i'm you know five seven two hundred and fifteen pounds or whatever i weigh presently I mean, I can fit back here. Most back, you know, back of most vehicles, I can't fit. You got, you know, fold down center console. Great thing about these seats is they flip up. They flip up and then everything folds down. So you can double the cargo space very quick and very easy. And it's all flush and flat and you can literally double the cargo space. So this will be getting used a lot. The cargo space back here and then you can easily easily convert it back for passengers so that's the back and of course i replaced now this light bulb was really difficult to change out because the light bulb was so tight tight i got 31 millimeter led bulbs and it's mind-boggling how many different companies make these and sell these they're on ebay they're on amazon they're everywhere and I ordered some 28 millimeters. I'm gonna try and swap that one out because it was so hard to get it in there. It was ridiculous. And I replaced the door. As you guys can see, there's little door lights. I replaced all those too. But just the lighting inside this truck were terrible. You would think for 44,000 bucks, you could get better lighting, but this is old school technology. Uh, got the 17 inch wheels and the uh, Wranglers on here. Now, I could have got 20 inch wheels with that were shiny and bigger tires, but I was like, I didn't want that. I didn't want nothing shiny. I wanted matte black. I'm tired of shining. I had a truck that I shined constantly for three years and I enjoyed it, but once again, I wanted something off road. So I wanted something I didn't have to shine so much. I went with the matte black wheels with the 17 inch uh, package there. All right, the back of the truck, you got a tow package back here. And this truck will do a little bit of towing. I got a light aluminum trailer light aluminum trailer planet millionaire guys that's where the money comes from all right uh the back of the truck there is actually a wiper back here um it's tucked in you don't even see it but it's tucked in there's actually a wiper back here you've got uh defrost back here in this particular window there's also defrost on the side windows on each side i don't know why but there is but you really can't really see out of those too well um, you can see a little bit in your peripheral vision 
this is the back of the truck uh i did not want this tray but i had no choice because that's the way it comes if you get the trd off-road unless maybe you can get it in uh you know in uh, order it before it's it gets through the assembly line in japan maybe you can get one without it i'm sure you probably could um but this thing was on a ship and it was on, on the way here to america so i didn't have a choice to i got stuck with this damn thing and i couldn't i can't stand it guys i know the companies are going to make aftermarket things where you can just take this out and do something else i guess uh i'll just deal with it i don't understand what it's supposed to do i mean let me pull it out you can pull it out I guess if you're 90 years old, you need to get your groceries. I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous. And I guess you can sit on it or something. It comes out again, and then it locks the outward position. It's got, you know, whatever. It is what it is. There is a little bit of storage, but not much, because it's only about an inch and a half high in there, and you got to be careful what you put in there, because most things are not going to fit. i got some recovery gear in there, some Bubba shackles, a Bubba rope, um, machete, just basic survival gear, Gerber, and all that kind of stuff um tomahawk i got some gloves emergency lighting i got stuff to start a fire band-aids and stuff basic first aid got a poncho back here and um there is uh some electrical back here but you got to flip it on there's a switch up front you got to flip on there is some power back here I'm not sure if i'll use that but it's back here uh what else is back here of course, I got this cargo net, which I put in here, which is great for groceries, which I've used a couple times already. That's very handy. There's another storage, um, like a hidden storage compartment underneath, and I've got some more gear underneath there. I've got another, I got some uh, bungee cords. I've got a recovery shackle, some flashlights, uh, tow pin, stuff like that. So that's another storage area, kind of like a hidden storage area. You can just knock that back down. I got some covers for this because this thing is hard to clean. Um, everything sticks to this crap. So I got some covers I'm going to put in here. I already got them. I just didn't put them in yet. Then I'll put a stereo system in this, thing, in this thing, and that's when I'll put the covers in. I'll show you the covers I got. If I remember, they're in the garage. And there's going to be a sub over here in this side uh, of the vehicle. So I gotta, I'm got i going to put an aftermarket stereo in. The stereo sucks. Uh, my last build, my last truck had a $6,000 stereo system. It was just insane. And uh, it's kind of hard to go backwards. So <laughs> I'm not, I didn't spend six grand on a stereo system, but I got a, a very uh, good stereo system on the way. A, a huge upgrade from over what we got here in stock. I'm probably going to replace uh, rear lights back here and maybe all the lights back here. The lights are terrible. Um, not complaining. I'm grateful I got a brand new truck, but the lighting is terrible on this vehicle inside and out. And it's just, you know, you think in 2018 you'd have better technology, but you don't. Um, I also ordered brand new headlights, low beam, high beam, fog lights, everything. At night, the, the lights are terrible. In my Ford F-150, the lights were so bright that people when i was on the highway they just got the hell out of my way like on low beams they just got the hell out of, plus that truck was so high it blinded people and they just got the hell out of the way when i was on the highway in the left hand lane they just freaking just it was like <laughs> it was like a tidal wave of people just getting the hell out of my way man of course i was always probably driving too damn fast okay this is uh the other side of the truck and there is some charging ports and stuff back here you got air conditioning back here like I said, it's pretty comfortable back here. Pretty comfortable. Not a lot of headroom. Not a lot of headroom, but it's sufficient for what it is. You know, the beautiful red stitching. Freaking gorgeous. Really nice. And this stuff, you just wipe it down, really. They say you can use a water-based leather cleaner and just wipe it off. So it is pretty easy to care for um, the interior of this truck. So that's the back passenger side. And then you got the front passenger side you got a power seat over here got a glove box over here pretty decent size glove box pretty decent size um, of course you got a handle pull yourself in trucks not that high up yet we'll lift it up a little bit but it's not going to be super high because I do have KDSS suspension on this truck which was uh, an option and that's actually kind of rare there's only three trucks on the whole ship coming over from Japan that had KDSS. There's massive sway bars underneath this thing that articulate up and down with the KDSS. And it's just, uh, 
it takes the off-road experience to another level so there it is there is the 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD off-road and of course I got the blacked out badges and all that crap I don't know if I needed that but I just didn't want nothing really really shiny I just I didn't want that I put a bug deflector on the front of the hood good looking hood with the hood scoop of course the hood scoop is useless it's just for show it's not functional or nothing but I guess it looks cool I guess it looks cool and as far as what we're gonna do for aftermarket stuff I got a front skid plate this this bottom these metal skid plates are gonna be pulled off of here I don't know if you guys probably can't see that but got an RCI aluminum skid plate we're gonna put on the front end and we've got an intake and an exhaust we got the intake right there we got the MagnaFlow exhaust that'll be going on the vehicle when it goes over to Piedmont performance um, got some wheel locks the low beams are come in I haven't swapped them out yet these are the fog lamps have come in I'm waiting on the high beams replacing all the lights on the front end man they're gonna be bright as can be I got the most expensive and the, the best rated lights I could get um, so you guys can research that uh, you know this is what I got I got the GTR lighting uh, ultra series okay so you guys can and I researched a bunch of these things it was ridiculous watched so many videos but uh, that's what I finally finally ended up going with uh, I got those uh, here are the the canvas mats that I'm gonna put in after we put the stereo system in these are from canvas back and they are velcro and they attach to the whole back compartment back there and even behind the seats this is gonna be much easier to clean and all that kind of stuff and like I said oh I didn't mention something that tray I don't know how the heck you vacuum underneath that tray like the the very back of the vehicle I don't know how you vacuum underneath that tray to clean I have no idea I, I ordered a, a, an attachment it fits on my shop vac oh, maybe it'll work I don't know I got this attachment that I put on my shop vac it's got a bunch of straws like on the tip so you can vacuum and I got this thing on Amazon somewhere it was not expensive at all it was just a couple bucks but let me tell you, show you what I'm talking about because I was like I, of course I vacuumed this thing out a couple times I think a couple times already but I was like how the hell do I clean like right here at the very back like how do you get like under there like I don't know. There's no way to freaking clean underneath there, the vacuum underneath there. If you get sand and shit in there, how do you get it out? I don't know. Um, unless I undo bolts and rip that whole thing out of there. It's kind of ridiculous, which I'll probably have to do once a year. But I'm sure an aftermarket company is going to come up with something better than this because I don't know. I'm not just I'm not crazy about this thing, this tray. But I'll deal with it. It's okay. All right, what else am I going to do? Oh, yeah, I set a stereo system and... I got something else, guys. <laughs> Here's my fo my folder, all my notes. These are all the light bulbs. Yeah, I ordered a I ordered a supercharger, guys. There's the stereo system. We're going to be installing here very soon. Very soon, we're going to install the stereo system in here. We're going to replace all eight speakers. We got two amps coming, and we got amp going to the speakers and an amp going to the sub that's going to be in the back. Oh, there's a picture of it in here somewhere. There's the sub that's going to be going in the back, and it's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, I did order a supercharger, guys. I got to do it, man. I couldn't say no, man. I've got to have more power. This thing is slow, man. The Forerunner's slow, man. I need more power, man. So I ordered it. It's going to take a few weeks to get here, and uh, once we get here, we'll take it out to Piedmont Performance and get that installed. We already got the intake. The intake is here. Uh, there's the suspension kit Josh from uh, Apex Overland was very helpful with this and visit Josh's website apexoverland.com he's got all kind of cool stuff he is the forerunner authority and he lives in my area how awesome is that and he's personally going to be putting my suspension system on my truck and he's uh, trained by Toyota for the KDSS which is pretty awesome man so I got the expert going to be putting this suspension kit on my uh, there's the Magnuson supercharger uh, uh instructions for the uh, tuning the tuning after we get it get it installed 
and all that kind of stuff. So this is kind of like the before video, before we really go crazy with this thing, get everything put on here. And we're gonna take this truck on an adventure, guys. I mean, a serious adventure. We're gonna do some crazy stuff with this truck, man. I can't wait. And I'm gonna make a bunch of videos and and you'll see it, guys. You'll see this thing everywhere all across the uh, the blogosphere, the uh, on YouTube and such. And uh, gonna do some serious exploring with this vehicle, which is why I purchased it. To do some exploring, guys. All right, there you go. There's my review of the 2018 Toyota 4Runner TID Pro. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, and that's it for this video. Frank Collaborative Jr. signing off. Thank you.